Welcome to Every Coach Needs a Coach, a podcast for coaches of all sports and all age groups to learn from coaches and people they may otherwise never have the chance to meet. Today on See One, Do One, Teach One, we are talking about happiness, and I came across another study that I want to share with you guys. So this was from 2014, and it's called Happiness and Health, the Biological Factors, a Systematic Review article. You guys know me, I'm a physical therapist. I make a lot of decisions based off of research and evidence. Uh, this was a big one for me, right? I was a biology major in, in college, and I will link up the articles. You can, you can read the whole thing if you're interested. But similar to yesterday, I want to give you guys a couple of, uh, of quotes from it. So it starts out, and the, the authors, I think this was a, out of Iran, the articles. The authors are not native English speakers, so I give them a lot of credit for writing an article in English. But um, here's the quote. It says, all the activities are managed by the brain. Thoughts, feelings, activities, learning, and love, all conducted by the brain. Mood and emotions are no exception to this rule. Another factor that affected happiness in general is hormones and glands. Studies suggested that some released hormones like cortisol, adrenaline, and oxytocin have a fundamental role in happiness and mood regulation. Physical health and attractiveness also influence on happiness, and they seem to be a significant factor in, comprom in comprising happiness. Finally, it can be said that genetic and all other factors are additional based on specific, special genetic structure, integrating related factors can result in happiness. Twin studies suggested that genetic factors count for 35 to 50% of happiness. I'm gonna say that last one again. Twin studies suggested that genetic factors count for 35 to 50% of happiness. So the whole article is pre pretty interesting and, and pretty scientific. Um, so it, it may go over some heads if you're not in the world of biology and, and research. But it reminded me, someone once told me, and I've, I've seen this in various people who I've worked with over the years, you could stick some people at an all-inclusive resort in the Bahamas or, or the Caribbean or wherever their ideal vacation spot would be. And you could give them top of the line treatment. You could, you could give them the best of the best, the best service, the best food, the best drinks. And they'd come back and you'd say, how was the trip? And they'd tell you, oh, it was pretty good. There was, there was too much ice in my drinks. Or, you know, it was really nice, but it was too hot. Or uh, one, this one waiter was just really rude to me. And that's what you would get out of them, out of asking how your trip was. And then there are other people who you could stick at a crappy cabin in the woods, give them nothing except a pile of firewood and say, have fun. And two weeks later, you'd come back, you'd say, how was it? And they would tell you, oh my gosh, I learned so much about myself. I had the best walks. It was the most beautiful thing. I saw a bear. They would tell you the best things about those two weeks. So the point is, it's not our jobs to make our players happy. But we just learned 35 to 50% of happiness is based on genetic disposition. It's our job to show our players what they're capable of, to believe in them, and to give them an environment that they can grow in and support them in their struggles not our job to make them happy. Uh, so I hope that is helpful for you guys. I have found it to be helpful as a coach to understand, like, I'm not going to make everybody happy. I'm, I'm not. And I'm not going to kill myself trying because I've tried. I have, I have stressed myself out significantly trying to make everybody happy and it still doesn't work. So with that being said, I have to understand that it doesn't matter who I am. Right? You could stick any coach in this situation. That kid might not still be happy. The parents might not still be happy. The official, the administrator, whoever it is. So that's my encouragement to you guys today. Keep doing your best. Keep providing great environments. I know you're good coaches, and I know you're great people, and I'm really grateful for what you do. I appreciate you. Thank you for spending some time with me today. Keep getting better every day.